What's going on guys, I'm Danny and thank you for checking out my channel, Blu-ray Dan. Now guys, I have an awesome video here for you. This is going to be an unboxing and review and uh, I just got a package in the mail. I got the FedEx email, I ran home and uh, I was at the gym and I got this and the thing is really, really awesome and I just I had to show it off to you guys. So what do you think it is guys? It is a Marvel film that's releasing by Sony Pictures on October 17th. That's right, guys. Catch, catch my breath. That's right, guys. We have the 4K Ultra HD combo pack of Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, we got some really, really cool packaging on this. It looks really nice, and uh, I want to show it off to you. So, I'm going to do that now, and then I'm going to come back and discuss my thoughts on the film and the 4K itself. So, guys, without further ado, let's get to this unboxing right now. Now, all right, guys, so here we have the 4K Ultra HD Blu ray and digital HD combo pack of Spider Man Homecoming. And guys, this is an awesome release, uh, not just for the movie, for the artwork and the, the slipcover. Look at this, we got a nice glossy slipcover with the Holofoil looking uh, 4K logo up at the top. Uh, we get a really cool shot of Spider Man slinging through the city and uh, the Avengers Tower back there. We get Iron Man right there on the cover, but I'm not the biggest fan of that. I mean, it's cool to see him, but I feel like he should have maybe been like tiny and like back there. That should have been Vulture's spot, in my opinion, because he's the you know a really big part of the movie. Obviously, um, we get uh, of course we get a sticker right here that says "Fully Immersive Picture and Sound." It comes with Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and HDR. To the right, right here, we have 60 minutes of extras, deleted scenes, and more. It's certified fresh by Rotten Tomatoes, but we don't care about that on my channel. Um, we have a five-star rating right here by Fox, and a quote that says "Best Spider-Man Ever." So now let's go ahead and let's turn this to the spine really quick. Make sure we are focused. There you go. Beautiful. We get a cool shot of Spider-Man right there. The title Spider-Man Homecoming right in the middle. And of course, Ultra HD on the back. Flip it to the back. And focus once again. We have another quote, wildly entertaining. The plot of the movie right there. We have uh, just another sticker saying, uh, uh, talking about the digital copy. We have Spider-Man hanging out upside down, being his teenage self. And uh, then we get uh, some information on what are on both of the discs. Disc one, it's just some information on the 4K, uh, the four times the res uh, resolution of HD, high dynamic range, wider color spectrum, immersive audio. And then on the Blu-ray disc, we get the special features. Again, not on the 4K disc, uh, but we get many. Uh, we get 10 deleted and extended scenes. We get a cast gag reel. We get uh, the, the Spidey study guide, a pop-up uh, factoid track. Unseen alternate Captain America PSAs, uh, Aftermath, Filmmakers Bridge, jeez, uh, uh, I can't even read that, Filmmakers Bridge the Gap from the Battle of New York, um, and uh, we get a Tangled Web, Spider-Man's, wow, integrated into the Marvel Cinematic Universe and more. Wow, I feel like they used one, is there any spaces in between that? Anyway, so that's all the stuff we get, a lot of stuff, so let's go ahead and flip this over. Let's take the slipcover off really quick and let's place it down right over there. Make sure we are focused once again. Here we go, guys. Same artwork on the front, on the spine, and on the back. It's just the same stuff, but just, you know, rearranged a little bit. So let's go ahead. Let's pop this open. We get a snap case and let's place this down right there. And we get three papers in here. We get the digital copy. We get just some information on the 4K, and then uh, we get download the official Spider-Man Homecoming app, and it tells you about all the upcoming releases and stuff like that, and uh, some of the real points and whatnot. So let's put that to the side. Guys, we get disc art. Look at that. Nothing too amazing, but it's still really cool. Uh, we just get a black and white uh, Spider-Man on the disc, Spider-Man face on the disc. Uh, for some reason, this one's a little bluer. This is on the Blu-ray. And this right here is the 4K Ultra HD. Here you go. A little better look at that. And yeah, that's it. Nothing too amazing. Nothing too special. But that's that, guys. Uh, let's put all the stuff back in. Close this bad boy up. Clip, clap, snippety, snap. Let's get... Oh, God, I don't like... I cringe when I said that. So uh, here we go, guys. Slip covers back on. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I love the fact that we get a really nice, uh, colorful slipcover and artwork and some disc art. Uh, you know, it's a great movie. It's a lot of fun. And I'm happy to have this, and I'm glad I got to show this off to you guys. So I, uh, I want to say thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed my unboxing for the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray Digital HD combo pack of Spider-Man Homecoming. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. Now, guys... Spider-Man Homecoming, ah oh, man, you know, another addition into uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Well, I liked it. I didn't love it, 
but I liked it. The movie's definitely fun. Um, you know, of course, Spider-Man. Tom Holland makes a great Spider-Man. The movie's got a really good cast. Of course, you got a Robert Downey Jr. here playing Iron Man and Michael Keaton as the Vulture. Uh, the, there's one. There's a couple things about it that I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, one of them is the fact that it's another, you know, beginning story to Spider-Man. We've gotten, this is the third in the, you know, like, uh, you know, recent years. It's it's a little crazy to me, but it's cool to finally have a Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe. Uh, I wish I would have done that with X-Men, honestly. Uh, sorry, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, uh, the cast was great. The story was fun, but I, I think that they focus a little too much on, and this is my opinion, they focus so much on him just trying to, like, get Iron Man's approval instead of really kind of having his own story uh, here. He did have a story. There is a story, but, you know, I, I just feel like it was on the back burner. His his main, you know, his main, main thing was becoming an Avenger, and I don't know. I liked it, but I didn't love it. Um, the, the movie is, it's very comical. There's a lot of comedy in there, which I like. I love sarcastic Spider-Man, which is why I like Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man the most. Um, which is funny because... You know, uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, those movies are my favorite, but, you know, there, there's a lot of, there, there's ups and downs to all of them, to be honest. So, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, it's comical, uh, very, very action-packed, very colorful, and, uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't know, I, I did like the young teenage aspect to it. I thought that was pretty cool. Another thing, like I said, uh, during the unboxing is you look right here and you have Iron Man on the slipcover. And I feel like that right there should have been Vulture's, uh, Vulture's spot. And Iron Man should have been, like, a very minor role. And that, that you know, it, it goes to what I was saying about the movie itself. I feel like Iron Man should have had a much more minor role there. And uh, Vulture should have had a bigger role. You know, again, I mean, it's, you know... You know what I'm saying, right? Am I alone on that? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, still, it's still, regardless of all that, the movie is fantastic. Now, guys, I popped the 4K in to take a look at it, and it is insanely beautiful. Right here, like I uh, showed you guys before, there's a sticker. It's got Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and HDR. It's absolutely beautiful, and it sounds fantastic, just like you're at the theater again. Um, th this 4K set comes with so many special features. I gave the rundown, but again, there are just there's so many deleted extended scenes. Uh, alternate Captain America PSAs, uh, gag reels, uh, Aftermath, the filmmaker's bridge from uh, when Spider-Man first showed up in New York. There's so many things to it, and it's just a really, really cool set. And uh, I definitely recommend it if you haven't seen it. It's a, it's a good addition to the, you know, the MCU. Um, again, I feel like it could have been done a little bit better, but I still enjoyed it, and uh, I know you guys will too. Uh, so yeah, so that so that's it, guys. That's it. That is Spider-Man Homecoming, and uh, that's the end of the video, really. So. Uh, as always, guys, I want to thank you so, so much for watching this video. It really means the world to me. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Lots of stuff here. Uh, movie reviews, trailer reactions, unboxings, updates, and movie trips, and all that good stuff. So feel free to subscribe and tag along for the ride with me. But, alright guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I gotta get changed. I still, I stink right here. I just got back from the gym, so I gotta go. But, uh, thank you guys so much once again have an awesome awesome day and uh yeah guys always now nah, i was gonna how do i end i don't forget i forget how to end these videos now all right guys goodbye spider-man homecoming <laughs>